Hey, what's going on, guys, and welcome back to our Fix That Super Rush Channel 13 series, where today we have two builders available. We got tons of loot, and uh, we got some big boy upgrades to do today. So let's go and jump right into the episode and see what we want to get done. Now, uh, pretty much every episode, there might be one or two that I have not done. Uh, heroes. Of course, got to get those heroes going. I will be so happy... The day that we don't have to do heroes anymore. Now, we are a long way from that. Town Hall 13. The Warden goes to level, what, 50? Yeah, it goes to level 50. So, we got 24 more levels to go on him. We got to get these, uh, the King and the Queen to 75. So, those got, uh, what, 34 more levels to go. And, uh, you know, the Barbarian King, he's, uh, playing a little bit of catch-up right now. He's going to 41. So, we have a lot of upgrades left to do on heroes. So that's probably what uh, we're going to do with one of our builders today. We're going to get either the king or the or the queen or the warden upgraded. Uh, I'm not really sure which one I want to do. I think I have an idea, but, you know, things are subject to change, right? As far as defenses go, things that I would like to do today would probably be this last Inferno Tower to channel 12 max. That would be fantastic. Uh, we could do this last air defense to level 8, which is channel 10 max. That would also be awesome because I'm still getting smacked by E-Drags, even though this guy... Uh, Got a one-star. <laughs> E-Drags. Good one. Oh, uh, we got another one-star E-Drag. Another one-star E-Drag. Uh, two stars, 69%. So I guess we can let that one slide. But E-Drags are not the best way to farm, guys. Okay? We've talked about that in the previous episodes. Don't use E-Drags. Okay. Anyways, off of that, basically, uh, we need to go out and get a couple of raids in. Get some loot. I'm pretty sure I got plenty of loot for uh, whatever upgrades we want to get done today. But it's nice to have... A uh, little extra loot, you know, maybe for the next episode, getting ready for the next episode. Uh, I do do live streams, you know, every day, so I'm able to get loot that way. I got three extra training potions in my gold pass that I need to take advantage of eventually. Uh, unless I'll just sell them for 10 gems apiece, which is uh, not a bad idea. I don't really boost on this account, considering I have, uh, what, six other accounts besides this one. So, not always needing to boost, because I just go to the next account and just attack, you know. Especially if you're coming at my live streams. Um, every day, except Sundays, 4 p.m. Central Time. Definitely come tune to those. Links will be in the description for that. But, uh, I mean, I, I have a bunch of accounts, almost every town hall. And, uh, I've been every town hall. So, definitely come tune into that. It's a lot of fun. I hope to see you guys there. But, I mean, like I said, I don't really use the training potions because I attack. I go to my next base. I attack. I go to my next base. And I just keep doing that. So, I don't really ever need to boost. Here's a great looking base. What do I need exactly? Probably, I mean, I like getting elixir, but I also need some gold. Really need some gold. So we're going to attack from this side over here. We're just using miners. I do have a siege barracks that I can actually drop. What do I have in here? Oh, one archer. Sweet. That one archer could be the difference. You never know. <laughs> so let's go ahead and drop our miners. We're going to drop the siege barracks over here. And we're also going to drop... Uh, well, we'll save our heroes. Eh, nah. We'll, we'll, we'll drop the Grand Warden to help out these guys a little bit. Get those guys in there. Let's go ahead and freeze this multi and the eagle. Because it's doing some big boy damage. Let's drop our RC. Our max RC. One day I'll be able to say drop our max heroes on the base. But, uh, we're, uh, we're a few days out from that. Just a few. But, let's go ahead and drop a heal spell there. We'll drop a heal spell there. Kind of wish I could have uh, used the Eternal Tome on these miners over here. But it looks like we will be able to get that Town Hall. Easy peas. I'm going to drop my Queen up here. Get some of that Elixir. Hopefully she'll come down here and get this Elixir too. But uh, we got the majority of the gold. Which is good. We're going to need that for that Inferno Tower. Inferno Tower is not that expensive. Compared to, you know, if I didn't have the gold pass, right? I try to make this series as most of free to play as I possibly can. Like, I don't buy gems. Uh, I do buy the gold pass because it's only five bucks and uh, it helps out tremendously. But I really don't, I don't buy, you know, the little packs. I don't buy skins. I don't buy really, really anything except the gold pass. So I try to make this as free to play as possible to, you know, give you guys the most, uh, like, relative play, right? So, like, most of you guys don't buy the gold pass. Uh, if you do, you know, you're kind of alongside with me. But... I mean, I try to make it most free to play because a lot of people don't buy the gold pass and, you know, things are a lot more expensive when you don't buy the gold pass. So, looking at this, right, 8.8 .8 million gold. So, I got plenty of gold. I got plenty of gold. How much is the warden? 8.9 million. So, I got plenty of elixir. Queen? She's 96,000. So, uh, I mean, I could do the queen. I would love to do the queen, but I also love to do that warden. Get him to 27. 
That would be awesome. We got the lab still going six days for these maxed out witches. So that's really, really good. And I'm kind of thinking what I want to do next. I think I want to do balloons. Because uh, I want to kind of start doing like La Lunian as well. I mean, I, we did talk about using uh, Bow Witch. Which I have max bowlers, max witches. Might need to go ahead and continue doing the giants. They only go to level 10. So we only got a couple levels more to go on that. And then we can, you know... Switch up to using uh, some, you know, some Bow Witch or some Dragloon or some, you know, La Lunian or whatever. Uh, I still get a Rune of Gold, Rune of Elixir, Rune of Dark Elixir, and a Book of Heroes out of there. Do I have? What do I have? I actually have a Book of Heroes. <gasps> this is perfect. This is perfect. I wouldn't have to pick. I can just upgrade one, finish it instantly, and then get the other one going. So I won't be using that builder. Oh, this is perfect. This is perfect. This is a per This is going to be a perfect episode. So... The other thing is, what do I want to have uh, with me? I kind of want to have that Warden with me. So we're going to go ahead and upgrade this Grand Warden. Five days, 14 hours. Not really going to take that long, but it is going to take 8.96 million Elixir. And kaboom. And welcome back, Mr. Grand Warden. Nice. I love having the Grand Warden. He's one of my favorites. He's actually, he's got to be my favorite hero. Because he keeps your troops alive. You know, he makes them invincible. He gives them a little bit of extra health and stuff like that. And he's got an insane rage with his little aura thing. So, I like I like the Grand Warden. He's, he's a nice guy. So, let's go ahead and get this Arch Queen going. She's going to be going for the next four days, 19 hours. Uh, that doesn't conflict with anything that I already have. So, let's go ahead and get her upgraded because she's not going to be able to use in this next raid. 96,000, four days, 19 hours, and kaboom. Very, very nice. So, we still have that one builder. And I'm thinking I want to do that Inferno Tower. I was either going to do the Inferno Tower, that air defense, or maybe work on another Tesla. Because uh, I do want to get those all up to level 6. That would be awesome. And what is that? Ooh, we start getting those coils at level 7. That's going to look really, really nice. Uh, but I'm thinking I want to do that Inferno Tower. That way we have all Town Hall 12 max Inferno Towers. That's going to be great. Then we'll start working on Town Hall 13. And then those will be maxed out. For 10 or 13, those are 13 days. Holy moly. That's a long time. Also, I'll go out, see if we can get a little bit of loot. Maybe we can upgrade like a wall with the elixir because I can't uh, can't get the Grand Warden upgraded again because I don't have that much loot. I do have a little bit of treasury loot, but it's not enough. So hopefully we can find a base like this. This base actually has an insane amount of loot, 700k each. I do have my Go Wee Wee Wipe. Uh, that's That sounds kind of weird. Go Wee Wee Wipe, because I have Golems, Witches, Wizards, and Pekkas. So Go Wee Wee Wipe is what we're going to be calling this. We've been discussing that for a long time now. Didn't know what to call it, but we're calling it a Go Wee Wee Wipe. That just sounds funny. So tell your friends what you're doing in Clash of Clans, doing Go Wee Wee Wipe. And uh, they'll just have to make fun of you, just like uh, most people make fun of me in my live streams. <laughs> that's okay. I love making people laugh. That's why I do love doing live streams. Love making people laugh. And, uh, you know, escaping the real worlds that we live in. It's kind of crazy, but it's nice to, you know, go to a stream, have a good time, chill, relax. This space actually looks pretty freaking decent. Uh, let's go ahead and pop the old uh, Warden's ability right as those things are going to smack down on it. And I do have that Siege Barracks gonna give me those extra that extra P.E.K.K.A. and wizards which is great so let's see what these guys can do I don't think I'm gonna be able to get that town hall I don't have my RC for this raid I don't have my queen because she's being upgraded and I don't have my king because he's also being upgraded so I don't know if we're gonna get a star which is okay don't really care about the star I do care about getting this loot though and that seems to be uh not where we're gonna be getting either so <laughs> kind of a failed raid wouldn't be a collapse episode or a collapse stream or something like that without some type of fail. So, there we go. We got a little bit of loot. Got a little bit of Dark Elixir. Lost a little bit of trophies. I actually do want to lose a little bit of trophies because we are super high. 3,500. I actually did hit a PB. 3,525. Personal best. For those of you guys that don't know the lingo, PB. Personal best. But, uh, yeah, I did hit a personal best. And I don't really want to go... I really don't want to be this high, to be honest. Don't really want to be this high. Can I do a wall? I can do a wall with the elixir. Let's go ahead and do that. Boom. Get a little bit of wall progress in. And let's go ahead and do this Inferno Tower. <sighs> 11 days. 11 days we will have all maxed out. Town Hall 12 Inferno Towers. Then we get to start the whole process over again. Getting them to Town Hall 13 level. Let's go ahead and do this. 8.8 .8 million and cup. Boom. 
So, next episode, we will have two builders available. Uh, that one's actually going to finish by tomorrow sometime. So, probably what I'll do is I'll continue upgrading these bad boys. Uh, they're only a 19-hour upgrade, so that's you know gives me plenty of time to do that. Uh, that's kind of what I've been doing in between episodes. I'll either do one of these drills, or, like, I did a bomb, I think. Yeah, I did this bomb yesterday, because it was only, what, 10 hours, 14 hours? Yeah, something like that. So... I did one of those. Those are the kind of things I... Those are the only things I do in between episodes. I do those little baby upgrades because literally... Why would I do an episode where it's like, Hey, we're going to do a 14-hour upgrade. And then I'll have a builder available in 14 hours. And I won't be able to, you know, record it. So, might as well go ahead and do those little baby upgrades. You guys don't care about traps, right? Let me know in the comments if you do. Uh, make sure you leave a like on the video, guys. I greatly appreciate that. Uh, make sure you get that bell turned on for notifications. You know, when this or when these videos do go live, make sure you hit that subscribe button too as well. I uh, greatly appreciate all that. Make you come. Make sure words are hard. Make sure you come and hang out in the live streams, guys. Monday through Saturday, 4 p.m. Central Time on Facebook Gaming and on Twitch. Links will be in the description for all of that. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for so much for tuning in. I love each and every one of you guys. Be safe out there, and I will see you all next time.